Hey guys, welcome to Farm Charm Chic. I'm Emily. Today's episode is all about Christmas. I have three brand new Christmas DIYs to share with you. I also have a beautiful bouquet of forever roses to show you. I am so excited to tell you about those. I will as we get into the video. If you like DIYs, crafting, dupes, hacks, thrift flips, or just creating in general, I would love if you would consider subscribing. And if you do like any of the DIYs in today's video, remember to hit that thumbs up. But let's go make some DIYs. For this particular project, I'm just using a piece of scrap wood that I have. I picked up a box of scrap wood from a yard sale that I went to this summer. So I have some fun pieces and different shapes to do things with. So I'm just going to coat this on the back. I'm going to give this a few coats of white to make sure that it looks good from all angles. On the front, I just did around the edges where you would see. Now I'm taking this 2023 calendar from Dollar Tree and I'm taking this December page from it. I absolutely love this wreath. I think this page looks so farmhouse. I love the little wood look in the background. I think that this is so cute and I thought it would be darling to have this somewhere in my home as decor. So I'm just going to fold over the edges because the calendar page is a little bit bigger than my scrap piece of wood that I have. So after I bend those down, I'm just going to trim them off a little bit just with my little trimmer here. So that way I will be able to fit it all the way onto this block of wood. Now I cut it a little bit smaller than the block of wood because I did want a little bit of that paint to show through. I kind of wanted it to look a little rustic that way. So of course, tailor it to whatever size that you're doing, but I thought this was really fun. Now I am just putting down here a coat of Mod Podge before I place this down. Um, a moment ago you saw me, I just the, covered up the little calendar hole. I had taken a piece that I had trimmed off and I just used some Elmer's glue to glue that on to cover up that little hole and you cannot even see that it's there. So now I'm just lining up my page with where I want the edges to fall on my piece of wood on the background there. And I just put a thin coat of Mod Podge on there and then I do grab my Mod Podge roller or my brayer and I just kind of roll over that to make sure that I can get it as flat as possible. Now you can see there are a few little wrinkles that did develop there. The calendar pages, they really do um, not respond the best to the Mod Podge. And I know there's a lot of different techniques out there, so definitely try that. You could even just use your Elmer's glue stick, which is what I mostly use, but I kind of like to change it up a little bit. But you can see that while that Mod Podge was still wet, I was able to peel back carefully the pages. If you feel at all like those pages are going to tear, stop and don't do that. Just embrace the wrinkles if they're there. Um, I've seen, I've heard people use like um, cling wrap or something like that to kind of rub on. Now I'm just taking a little bit of white paint and dry brushing over it to make it look like it was kind of a part of that wood. And then I do take a thin layer of Mod Podge and place over the top of this just to make uh, sure that calendar page is sealed. So that way if any moisture or anything was to get on this, it wouldn't bubble up, it would protect it. And I thought it would be really cute to just wrap a little bit of twine around this at the top. So I just kind of wrap it in th just do three little wraps around kind of in different ways so you can see it's layered there. And I just tie it off in the back and place a little bit of hot glue so that's not going to move anywhere. I really love adding different types of embellishment and texture to different projects and I thought the twine was perfect for this one. So you can kind of see how it comes to a point in the middle there. I'm just taking some twine, wrapping it around my fingers and tying it off in the middle to make a little shoestring bow. And then I will just glue that into the center of the twine with just a little bit of hot glue. And I think this turns out so cute. It looks just like those little strands of twine were tied on with that. And I leave my tails a little bit longer because I really like the way that that looked. For how absolutely simple this DIY was, look at how beautiful it is. I am so excited to use this in my home. What did you guys think of this one? Have you guys seen these Forever Roses before? I had Rose Forever New York send me these beautiful roses. These are preserved in a way that these fresh roses will last up to a year. I do not know how they do it, but it is amazing. These are absolutely beautiful. When these arrive, they come in this beautiful velvet box and when you open up the lid, it reveals these beautiful roses. There's several different shapes of bouquets and different styles of boxes that you can order. They also have several different colors of roses if white roses are not your thing. And you guys, when you touch these, they are so soft. I mean, they are real live roses. They feel just like you had just picked them from your garden. They preserve them so beautifully. This month being October, Rose Forever is joining 
participating in the Breast Cancer Awareness Global Campaign that is dedicated to raising awareness about breast cancer and supporting women to reduce their cancer risks. They are decreasing the price of all of their pink roses and they're offering discounts and free shipping through the entire month of October. If you click the link down in my description box, you can use the code FarmCharmChic25 for an additional $25 off your order. In addition to the discounts and free shipping, for every pink bouquet sold, they will donate $2 to the breast cancer research. So treat yourself or treat someone you love to one of these beautiful bouquets. Again, that link is going to be in my description box and use the code FarmCharmChic25 for $25 off. This is just one of those chalkboard little stand frames that you get at Dollar Tree. It has a little piece on the back to help it stand up. And I'm just going to, I'm gonna paint the frame. So I'm just using some painter's tape to go around the inside of this because I wanna make sure the inside of the frame is painted, but I do not wanna deal with scratching paint off of the chalkboard surface itself. So I just make sure I line all of that up exactly how I want. And I'm going to go with just a classic red. I am using chalk paint, but acrylic paint, whatever paint you have, whatever color you wanna do, will work just fine. So I do go around all of the edges of this and I also paint the back of it. That way when you see it from all angles, it looks completely finished. Now I'm just peeling back that painter's tape and there's always it's always so fun to peel that back and see that everything looks great. Now I have these stickers from Dollar Tree and I decided to use these because sometimes I use my Cricut for a lot of projects, but I thought it would be fun to kind of do this and show you that you don't have to have a Cricut to do every project, but definitely if you do have access to one and would rather do that or have some different letters you would want to do this with, use that, but I thought these letters looked really cute on this chalkboard here. So I'm just using a J and a Y and I have these little peppermint, um, um, it's a little sprig or floral pick that I got from Hobby Lobby. I bought it when it was 50% off, so it was like $1.50. And I'm just deciding which one I like the best. And I ultimately decide on this one right here. I thought that looked like a classic peppermint candy there. And just using some hot glue, I will just glue that in the middle to make the word joy. I just think that that is so cute. I love that. And I just love the red and white for Christmas with the peppermint. I just think that is so cute. And I decide that it needs a little something extra. You could definitely leave it the way that it was, but I'm just taking some different little floral picks that I have. These are the little evergreen strands that you get in a pack of like 12 from Dollar Tree. I just cut one, a few pieces of it. And then this is just a little bit of boxwood from uh, Walmart. I love to use this. It's like $1.98 and your a sprig will last you for several projects. It is wonderful stuff. So if you're at Walmart, check the floral section to grab this because I absolutely love it. And it is so fun to use. And I thought it kind of added a little different element there for Christmas, um, a Christmas texture and everything. Now I have these little berries just from another pick that I've torn apart. So I'm just taking a couple off and I just put a little bit of hot glue onto the end of them and then just stick them in where I think they look best just to bring a little pop of red up to the top there. I felt that looked like a really cute holiday look there. And then I'm just taking these little curly cues also were on a pick that I had, but you could easily make some just with some floral wire. Uh, I thought a lot of times you'll find the floral wire that has the little coating on it there like these. And they, I just thought it added a little bit of texture. I thought it was really cute. I had a lot of fun actually picking out different pieces to put on the top of this. And I thought it was really coming together cute. This ribbon is from Dollar Tree and I just tied a double bow there. And then I'm just going to glue that right in the middle. When I glued it on there, I realized that the tails were a little bit long for how I wanted. So I do go in and kind of just cut those off uh, at an angle there. So that way, um, not really dovetail, but I guess just more of a slant there. You'll see here as I trim that up, just so you can see it doesn't kind of go over the joy there, the peppermint. I thought that it needed to be shortened a little bit, but look at how cute this is. I think this is darling. It would be so cute, like on a tiered tray or even just sitting out somewhere just to bring a little bit of joy to your space. I just thought this turned out absolutely beautiful. This next project is a Pinterest inspired project that I saw somebody had built one and I had out of like scrap wood for a tree and I thought, oh, I have a Dollar Tree tree that would be perfect to do this. So I'm gonna kind of walk you through the steps on this. So I just traced this Dollar Tree wood tree on some paper that had a really uh, barn wood looking finish on it. And you can kind of see, I just kind of cut it out there. And then I love Elmer's glue for projects like this. You guys have seen me use this dozens of times, if not more. And I just make sure to pay attention to the edges. So all 
the edges will be down really good and then I just go all over the surface of the tree and then I just place this down and line it up as best as I can to make sure that no edges of the uh, wood are showing. I just use my brayer here to make sure that it goes on completely flat. I personally like using this glue stick better than I like Mod Podge. I feel like I have a much higher success rate with it and it is very, I've never had a problem with it peeling up as long as you're using the Elmer's Purple Glue. The Dollar Tree glue that I've seen that said like the Jot brand, I have not had as much success with that. So I just sanded the edges to make sure the paper was clear, but it did make the edge of the paper kind of look torn or that white color. So I just went over the edge with a little antiquing wax and while I was there I just made sure to go over the back of it to give it a finished look and then you can see I just put a little bit of glue into the little hole that was up there and then um, to kind of fill it in and then just put a little antiquing wax over it. So now I'm going to build a little box to go on the bottom of the tree here. So I just had this little square. Um, they do sell little squares at Dollar Tree. This was just a scrap square that I had and I cut some paint sticks down to be the size to go on the sides of this here. Now if you wanted to skip this step you could use just a little sign like that. They sell signs like that at Dollar Tree that you could use all day long and would work just fine. I just didn't have one the exact size that I wanted and so I thought I would just kind of make my own and show you. So I did just kind of eyeball when I cut these I kind of laid it down on my painter stick and drew the line of where I needed to cut it. Uh, I actually, uh, these little painter sticks were thin enough that I could cut them with my scissors, but you could use like a little hand saw, miter saw, uh, or if you have a like power miter saw that would work as well. So now I did just have to file down one of the sides because I didn't quite get the measurement right. So that's why I was using my emery board there to kind of sand it down. And then I just give this a coat of that antiquing wax because it matches that wood on the tree. Absolutely perfect, I thought. And I just cover all sides of it with that wax. So now I'm just going to take this tree and I'm going to add some glue to the spots where that box will touch and that's how I am just going to put these two together here. And so I just press that box right up against the tree and I'm going to make this a little candle stand. So I'm just showing you that you could just put a plain candle in there and embellish just a plain candle. That's one of the faux candles that I love from Amazon. I'll link those below in my description box. But I wanted to kind of make a little jar candle to put a little tea light down into and this jar just came from Dollar Tree and I just removed the lid and I had some Dollar Tree ribbon I was showing you but I have this ribbon that I have on my Christmas tree and it kind of matches my decor a little bit more and it just came from Hobby Lobby. So I'm just going to layer it with that red buffalo check on the bottom and then actually this green ribbon I believe came from Joann's so I'm just letting you know that but I love this green ribbon. It's not quite an evergreen like it's kind of like I don't know I just love the color of it and so after I glue those two together I'm just making a little sprig with some little pieces of picks that I have that I have kind of disassembled and I just wrap some twine around the top of those to get them all pieced together and you could totally skip this step if you wanted to that ribbon looks beautiful as it is and using some twine that I tie on the top there I'm just tying that little piece of evergreen on there and then I will snip all of the tails off there because I decided I did not want any of that and then I just kind of put a little glue on the back of that evergreen there so it would glue to the front and if stay put and wouldn't move around and then I just made a little shoestring bow to go on this and I thought that was so cute you could leave it like this and it would be absolutely beautiful but I did have these little stars from Dollar Tree and I'm sorry that you can't see it right here. You'll see it in the finished product. Um, but I just put one of those stars at the top of the Christmas tree and then I thought this, this is some baker's twine that I have and you can get this at Dollar Tree also. Um, but I like to buy the red and white on Amazon because you can actually get more of it for a better deal than you get at Dollar Tree. Uh, the other colors you get at Dollar Tree are definitely a better value but the red and white you can get a little bit cheaper other places. But I just wrapped it around the tree and then just tied it off and that way I didn't have to glue it on so if I wanted to remove it or I didn't love how it looked I could do that but look at how cute that is. Oh my gosh this is beautiful. I absolutely love this. I did add a little tea light into that jar. You cannot see it in this photo, but it adds the most beautiful glow, especially with all those little ridges and marks in that jar from Dollar Tree. So if you find that jar, pick it up to do this project with because it's beautiful. Thank you so much for joining me today. I had so much fun making these DIYs. I love every one of them. Does one of them 
speak to you a little bit more than one of the others? If so, let me know down in the comments. I would also like to know if you guys would be interested in more candy cane and peppermint DIYs. This joy sign has kind of inspired me to do some more candy cane and peppermint DIYs. So if that's something you would like to see more of, definitely let me know that down in the comments as well. I would also like to thank Rose Forever New York for sending me that gorgeous bouquet of flowers. Those roses are absolutely beautiful. Remember to check that link down in my description box and use Farm Charm Chic 25 for $25 off of your order. Remember to be safe, be smart, be nice, be happy. Choose to have a good day because you are amazing. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed the video that you just saw, here's another one that you might enjoy. And as always, remember to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and have an amazing day.